Hello coaches and thank you for watching the video. Welcome to the video. If you're a returning coach, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos, watch my content. Uh, if you're a first timer, if you like what you uh, are seeing today and see other examples on my YouTube or Facebook pages, YouTube channel, Facebook page, then please, please look into my Patreon channel. The Patreon channel that I use uh, goes into a lot more um, detail about the things that we do, how to teach it, why we teach it, schemes, uh, playbooks. I have over 1,500 pages of information uh, provided to you on the Patreon page. Also, over 200 videos. I have game footage, uh, just pure game. I have practice footage. And then I have videos of explaining how to teach, why we teach it, why we call certain things, how to build an offense, or maybe just how to tweak your offense. So I'll put the uh, the the uh, address for the Patreon, uh, Facebook, all that stuff in the information down below. Please check it out if you like what you see today in this video. In today's video, I just want to simply show you some practice footage. This was like day one of uh, spring practice of the first time I was working with these. Uh, you know, it may have been the second practice because we we put the drill in the first day. And then I think the second day we were um, doing it for the first time without a lot of explanation. Uh, this is a simple pre-practice drill and it's something that you can do in a matter once you get it taught and implemented it's just a matter of two minutes a day and it, it goes over a lot of great fundamentals for your tight ends receivers running backs quarterbacks um, if you want h backs to be a part of it if they're going to be route runners and ball carriers they can do it periodically as well so please 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 Give me a thumbs up, share the video, like the like the channel, bang that bell for those notifications on YouTube, um, follow the page on Facebook, all of those things. I appreciate everything that you guys do. It's very humbling, um, and I just try to put out information that that I've been doing for a long time, and people seem to like it. So I appreciate you very much. So in today's video, we're going to look at this cone drill. It is a pre-practice drill. You'll see by the pace that we're going through, this is the second drill they do once they hit the field. Uh, the first drill is just some catching and tucking drill, or warm up their hands and things like that. This is where we're actually going to jog through um, at a very, very low intensity. Uh, I'm going to let the video play while I talk through it. So we're going to go through it uh, one time down and back. So we get a rep down, get a rep back, and everyone has a football in their hands. Everyone has a ball. We've talked about cutting at a 45-degree angle. We've talked about how to hold the football properly. We've talked about how to switch the football um, from one hand to the other as you make your cut. You see some are doing it well and some are not doing it well. Like I said, this is like day two of, uh, of all of the work that we just started doing at this point. So, um, and, and we'd practiced it a little bit, but not, not a lot. So we're, we're getting into it here. One rep down, one rep back. Everyone has the football. Let's talk about some of the techniques that we have. Um, they're running to the cone. They can cut in front of the cone, at the cone, inside the cone, outside the cone. I don't care where they cut. It's a low intensity drill. Uh, we're just simply going through the reps um, of running with the football properly and how to switch the ball from one hand to the other. Uh, we've already talked about the proper way of doing it. Some aren't picking it up, so we're trying to coach them on the move while, while, the, while the drill is going on. One thing about doing practice this way, you get a lot of reps. You don't get a lot of standing around. We try to video everything as much as possible to talk to the kids about it. Um, but the key is making fast, quick um, corrections fast, quick corrections to the players on the field. So there's not a lot of standing around talking about things. That's the important part. Don't like to stand around. Don't like to talk. We like to make corrections and move forward. We've already done the coaching and the teaching. Now we're trying to polish up the technique. So you can see here as they cut from one side to the other, we are switching the ball over. We want to switch the ball over 
with our reach over the top. So if it's in our right hand here, right hand, when we reach over the top and switch it to our left hand, if it's in our left hand, then we switch over the top and reach over the top with our right hand and bring it across. Some are doing it very well, some are not. Some we have to get better at it. That's the purpose of the drill. So that's all we're doing, switching the ball. When they're not switching the ball, they, we make sure that they're running with the proper tech uh, technique and the proper uh, tucking the ball away properly. Wrist above the elbow, we refer to it as high and tight. Carry the ball high and tight. Wrist is always above the elbow when running with the ball. We're trying to pump our arms, and we're trying to run uh, it, it, so that we are kind of dragging that ball, wearing out a, a hole in our jersey on the breastplate of the shoulder pads, where the belt, where the buckle is on our shoulder pads. So we're pumping our arms with the wrist above the elbow. We're carrying the ball high and tight. Uh, we're switching the ball, reaching over the top and, and dragging the ball across our breastplate, across our chest. We're not dropping it down uh, to, to uh, do anything with the ball. We're keeping it up. So that's one trip down, one trip back. The second trip through um, is a uh, receiver drill. So if they don't have a football, they're a receiver. If they have a football, they are a quarterback or running back. So if they have a football, they're a quarterback or running back, they do the same drill, the same exact drill they just did. If they are a receiver, we're working on what we call a rocker step. So first thing we do, we're going to work on our release. And that's what he's doing here at the uh, – First part of the drill, there's no defender in front. We're working on, uh, it could be a split release, fast hands, fast feet released. Um, and we're this we're going to jab, jab, and then one way, and then we're going back the other direction. So as he runs, right there is what we call a rocker step. If we want to make the defender think we're going to our left, but yet we're cutting to our right. So we rocker one way cut the other way. You see his head's moving outside, shoulders and hips all move outside, and we get this really sharp angle of our shin bone uh, here into the ground when we make our cut. So as he, he does it, that's the rocker. We want to sell to the right more than he's doing here. Sell to the right and cut left. It's just a matter of working on the rocker step as we cut. Rocker step, rocker step. So see, here we have Two receivers, they don't have the football, and then we have a guy with the football there. So the guy with the football is a quarterback or running back, and he's still got to work on the way he uh, carries the ball. So boom, rocker step, going back, rocker step, rocker step right here. See that shin angle? It's a good look of it. This one's not so much of a shin angle, not very good with it. Got to get better with it. All right, so that's the drill we do. It is real simple. This is a good picture of a snap, drown, a snap down step instead of a rocker step. That's more of a linear straight ahead cut. These uh, rocker steps are used on any slants, posts, corners, comebacks, anything like that where we want to fake one direction and cut the other direction. Uh, if it's a post corner, we get you know three steps into the post and then we rocker step to go to the corner. Um, you know, all of those things, if we're running a post to our left, we want to rocker to the right on the cut, following the stem of the drill and cut over. So all of that's done, um, it, with, within the drill, working on that rocker step. All right. That was a good, good little head, head and shoulder fake to the, to his left as he's cutting to the right, but that's all the drill is. You can see it's a low intensity drill. We're working on some very simple uh, techniques for our running backs, for our quarterbacks, for our receivers. The second time through with the rocker steps, a good picture, the picture here with the shin angle outside of the framework of the body. So uh, all of those things are done. This is in a pre-practice setting. This is before we stretch. This is after they warmed up their hands with catching and tucking. And now we're going to warm up our feet a little bit and our legs with uh, some cutting drills and some ball security drills. Very simple drill. It takes about two, two and a half minutes to go through. Once you get it taught, and they can go through it in less than two minutes easily during the day. 
uh, during your pre-practice period. So in a 10 minute pre-practice period, you can very easily, uh, you can very easily cover uh, three or four drills of, of things that em- emphasize the techniques of your skill guys of what you want to do every day. So that concludes the videos, coaches. Hope you enjoyed it. It's uh, about our technique for our, our running backs, our receivers, our quarterbacks, tight ends can be involved with it as well. Please share the video. Bang that bell for those notifications, please, on YouTube. Uh, feel free to make comments down below, share it, um, like and follow the channel, uh, the Facebook page. Please check out the Patreon page, all of those things, information for you that I think will help you uh, take on a different look. I'm not trying to sell you uh, an, an idea. I'm trying to get you to get out of your comfort zone and get you to look at football a different way than you've ever looked at it before in the Patreon uh, page. So check that out for me. Coaches, thanks again for watching the video. Thanks for your time. And uh, as always, magnify your blessings each and every day.